Hello everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. I'm wearing my bee suit because we're going to mess with something that is not bees. We're going to mess with yellow jackets. Yellow jackets are a mean and nasty thing. I don't do yellow jackets normally, but they moved into my shed. Here we are in my shed. It's quiet now. Right down here, there's yellow jacket nest. Right there, there's a little hole where they're going in and out of my shed. So. I'm going to be a big dummy and I'm going to pull the nest apart without spraying them or anything just to see what happens. This should be fun. But I'm wearing protection. So let's start pulling this apart and see what happens. There's some bee comb from the beehive. And there is the paper mache nest. So let's pull this out. Yeah, they're not too angry yet. Oh, now they're starting to buzz around. That's a good size uh, bee's nest. Oh, look at that. They're attacking the camera. They're attacking me. Ow. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to put the camera down now. That we have all agitated. And I'm going to start sucking them up with a vacuum. And then I'll resume recording. Okay, I've gotten rid of some of the troublemakers, but they're still buzzing around. Let's have a close look at the nest. Here's the uh, paper mache nest. You can see some bees uh, buzzing around there and hanging out on it. They build it on the bottom of the, she uh, the, bottom of the shelf. Let's see if there's anything going on up here. Nothing going on up here. So, we're going to scrape off the nest and I'll show you that outside in a okay. moment. Here we have our nest. Now, these yellow jackets build their nest in paper mache material. This yellow stuff here, those are actually all the baby yellow jackets. The white stuff is its capped yellow jackets. Those are the ones developing into these guys right here. The larger ones are queens, or they do the little egg laying, and yellow jackets have lots of queens. And they build these multi-layer nests like this. This is a good sized nest. Fortunately, I got them before anybody got stung. So, okay. cool. Now we got the uh, all nest all removed from the space. It's all scraped clean. We just got a few yellow jackets hanging around. And now what I'm going to do is I want to toss the uh, nest out in the yard. Uh, turns out grubs from bees' nests are one of the favorite foods of skunks. And I know we got a couple skunks that roam around the neighborhood, so I'm going to let them out in the yard and let the skunks eat them. So in a few days' time, the uh, skunks will eat up the grubs and this yellow jacket problem should be gone because I'm going to plug the whole nest. My animal removal. The other day I made a little video where I showed a... Uh, bees nest removal from my shed and I tossed all the grubs in the backyard for the skunks to eat. Now if we look right here we got Mr. Skunk chowing down on those uh, grubs and he doesn't like me so he's running with his tail up. Let's see how far he goes. No don't go into my shed. Well, that skunk just ran into my shed. You can see his tail sticking out there. Let's take a close look. There's his little tail. And there he just disappeared. Let's see if we can see him in here. Nope. You got a uh, yellow jacket nest in your yard. There's a hole in the ground, the yellow jackets are uh, climbing in and out. You see a skunk hanging around, that's a good thing. He'll dig them up and eat them. Thank you.